so this is day one of project 50 where i'm challenging myself in one month's time on my 25th birthday to run a 50 mile ultra marathon you have no idea how big of a deal this is to me i was not always this strong guy you see um i went through a lot of hard times in my life to get here today Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum. Today is the 5th of November 2024. It's 8.30 in the morning. I'm here in Myland running track. This is basically going to be my home for the next 10 to 12 hours because I decided that on my birthday, the day I turned 25, I'm going to run a 50 mile ultra marathon. It's going to be about 200 laps of this track. I've got electrolytes, gels, more electrolytes got the coconut water is very important and the reason why i'm doing this is because i just believe in pushing yourself i believe in chasing something that's greater than what you're capable of meaning that you know sometimes we limit ourselves we tell ourselves that we're not capable of doing things until we throw ourselves in that deep end and we really discover what we're capable of this is a lot harder when you haven't got you know i guess the support and the people are gonna cheer for you me myself and i so it makes it better i guess it's time to enter the pain cave. Just imagine being here for the next 10 to 12 hours. Pew. You guys can see, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 8.45. And we are officially starting, bismillah. Ah. It's gonna be a long day. The key is to actually just enjoy this. Cause let's be honest, it is depressing, it is hard. But as long as you just be okay with the situation, like, okay, I'm gonna be here for the next 12 hours so what just get on with it i don't know like appreciate the bird right there right <laughs> am i becoming crazy already i'm probably smiling right now but i'm sure i'm gonna hate my life very very soon i just got a reminder on my watch every morning at 9 a.m i receive one saying from prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and today saying is every intoxicant is forbidden and yeah, uh, it's true. Let's take, for example, alcohol. The reason why we're not allowed to drink alcohol is actually because it protects us from the harm it does to us. And a lot of people think, oh, but I need it to feel good. I need it to feel confident. I need it to have fun. But reality is that does more damage than good. And Alhamdulillah in Islam, it's forbidden because I would never want to touch that. It's a depressant at the end of the day, isn't it? So I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to enjoy that view there. See, it's the small things that motivate you. Very tiny things you start to appreciate. As you guys can see, that is five miles completed. Alhamdulillah. Very important that throughout this run, I'm making sure that every five miles I'm taking a break, fueling myself. Because as much as my ego will probably say to myself that I can keep going, but we've got to remember that this is this is not a joke. Like, this is 50 miles. So I'm trying to go for like a 10 minute break each time and go back out again because I don't want to lose the momentum. So. I'm not gonna lie, I do feel a little bit of a slight pain in my left shin, in my knee. But I'm trying to tell myself that it's not there just because it's too early to have a pain right now. Time to go out for my next five miles. Yeah, I'll be back here. See you guys soon. <laughs> it's like an hour later, but for you guys it's like two seconds. But So that is 10 miles done. I was actually quite surprised that I thought running around in a circle on the track would be probably more depressing than it actually is. But it's been all right, you know. This actually helps a lot. So this black thing on my nose, essentially what it does is I've got a deviated septum. The bone inside my nose is tilted to this side. The gap in that side is so small, so I struggle to breathe from it. Like, look at this. <laughs> can literally only ever breathe through one nostril and then clip it <sighs> this game changer man Look, i can actually breathe finished one podcast it's been all right it's been good my left knee though is when you think about it literally only 40 miles to go i'll see you guys in another second but another hour for me yo that's 15 miles clocked in you know what one good thing from this last five miles is that i've got a special visitor my brother decided to come pay me a visit, which is nice, it's different. It spices up the day a little bit. We need to pray dhahr, fuel up, get everything done as quickly as possible. <sighs> nah, I can do it, man. I can do it. Started this for a reason, I can't forget. Just gotta grind for it, man. About to complete 20 miles. I know you're watching this and you're probably sat down or whatever it is that you're going through. I feel your pain, but my advice is to get up and go fight. Keep showing up, no matter how hard that struggle gets. 
you just keep pushing every single time that's the only way you're gonna get through the fire keep telling yourself that you're built for it that you're firemen should be 20 miles sun is shining that is 20 miles completed so i was just saying to myself how beautiful this feeling truly is throwing yourself to a place where genuinely no one's coming to help you no one's coming to give you the handouts it's just you against yourself when that little bit of that voice just comes into your head and it starts telling you giving you doubts and i'm entering that phase you know slowly slowly that voice comes in but i've been hitting it back with the fact that nah stay cool stay composed in five more miles and they were halfway guys 25 miles completed we have a guest najib can join Let's me on get it. don't stop he just got started. I ain't never got started. I've been there from the beginning, bro. <laughs> oh, I've been going for four hours and 42 minutes, bro. A bit of pain on my hip and then just blisters. That's it. I'm going to take my shoes off right now. I can't lie. Those who run know what I mean. Yeah. Like, you don't want, you don't look forward to it, but you do. Time to level up, though. So, we're going to pray Asr. Going to fuel up and then keep on running, man. Quick update guys, my watch is on 10% battery. On here it says 25 miles. I'm gonna switch this off and then um, use my phone as a Strava to do the next 25 miles. But I literally have no choice, I can't risk it. So, and then also, I'm changing the shoes. These were amazing, I'm not gonna lie. And they're so bouncy, but the blisters, not fun. The good thing is that we're literally past halfway now. So my brother Najib there as well. He's completing his run, like, inspiring others as well to join him. And so it's good. Look at that view guys. Canary Wharf right there. That for me, the view alone is a W. And soon it's gonna get dark as well. And then the floodlight's gonna come on. And brother Yusuf decided to join along. 30 miles in, I've entered that that pain cave. <sighs> Don't want to say, man. The only thing that helps me is if I keep telling my mind that I'm okay. I feel like somehow there's a function in our brain that when we start to feed it with doubt or negativity, then literally your body just straight away just shuts down. Najib's still going. It's gonna get nice and dark. It's where it starts to count. So it's the last lap before I complete 35 miles. I feel good. Mentally, I'm strong. I truly believe that there's a, a version of ourselves that we can unlock that honestly lives inside of us and is capable of coming out. But like this right now, it's not Idris. This is a version of myself that I'm creating through pain. Pain is building this monster that was hidden inside of me for a very long time. Alhamdulillah, that's 35 miles completed. <laughs> My brother Shrek, keeping me company on this last lap, get to 40 miles. I'm gonna be real with you guys, man. I'm in the trenches right now. Yeah, let's go, man. As much as this is so mental, yeah, but it is, it is so deep and so emotional, I can't lie. It's just that the emotions are so deep inside that it's just been suppressed for so long that something like this is just forcing them to come out. This you're gonna have a break now and then another 10 more miles to go and then we can get out of this place because I'm fed up going around in circles. No. I've never done 5k in my entire life. Obviously, people don't know this about me, but basically still recovering from stage four cancer. Come on, Ak. Because Come of this guy, I've done the whole 5k. They're just inspiring the men then, bro. The current situation, look what's going on right now. Broken, I can't lie. Bro, it's the first time I run 5k in two years, you know. I can't lie, you see you lots coming here, bro. I think it's been a big boost of motivation for me. Yo, Najib, chat to the man then, man. How far? 30k. In. 30K. 10 more to go. Last man standing. Me and my brother Najib. Bro, today he's fought his own demons. And wallahi, I love him so much for that, bro. He's been pushing for the last four and something hours. And I was just listening to something now and he was saying how in life you have to confront your storm. You gotta harness yourself in the storm, not running away from it. But you need to be in that storm. Make peace with the storm. Be calm. Because the storm's gonna come. And then after the storm, we'll follow the tranquility. I'm deep in the storm literally approaching the last lap to complete 45 miles it's just five more miles to go guys i can't believe i'm saying that you know what i was just thinking about it as well whilst running that as much as i think i'm in pain yeah what about our brothers and sisters in Gaza? you know like muslim brothers and sisters around the world Allah, bro our pain is even compared to what they're going through so who am i to complain if we're seeing our brothers and sisters who witness their parents being blown up their kids their family their friends their entire neighborhood being absolutely exterminated, but they're still capable of saying Alhamdulillah. Then, you know, things like that that just makes you feel so grateful for your situation. Whatever you're going through in life, remember there's always someone who's going through worse. And just say Alhamdulillah. We're almost there, bro. The last five miles. This place is shutting at 10 o'clock, and we've got 35 minutes to run as much as we can. And when we finish here, we're not done yet. We're gonna run more. First one in, last one out. My knee is completely gone. Come on. 
Come on, man. Come on, Idris, bro. Come on. I'd be lying if I wasn't emotional right now. I'm telling you. Ah, this was so overdue. Oh, man. For the shit that I had to go through to reach this point, man. Nobody understands. Nobody but myself. And I'm here. I'm here, man. I know the difficulties that I had to face in silence. But I'm here, man. I'm here. I'm still pushing. Alhamdulillah. Some special visitors yeah, come join me. <laughs> my two older brothers. My last lap here, guys. I'm going to miss this view. I've got another two and a half miles left. I was the first one in here, guys. And the last one to leave. One mile left, guys. One mile left. Come on. Keep pushing. Hey, stop. whoever watches this and is going through hardship, don't ever quit. Don't ever give up. When the mind doesn't want to quit, the body will adapt. And we learned that today. Literally, end of this road, and we're there. They don't know me, son. Who's going to carry the boats the logs. and the logs? Big up to you, David Goggins, man. I hope you see this one day. You inspired the living shit out of me, bro. Through some real dark times. 50 miles! Yes! Ah! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Go, champ. I told you. Hey, listen, I'm on the phone to my mum, yeah? I told you I was going to do it, and we did it, man. I told you. And that was all I had to keep focused on, alhamdulillah. But, yeah, man, I love you, man. I love you. Just sat down in my car. I wish I could articulate it with the words that it truly deserves, but I know I just can't right now. Today was very, very eye-opening. Cool, now everything's just slowly winding down and, you know, I'm no longer with everyone that was there to support me and whatnot, and I'm just alone. I actually cried one time during the run, and it got very emotional because, like, I was fighting with myself, innit? And I was genuinely at war with the version of Idris that, for so long, I knew I had to get rid of him. But I had to take myself to the deepest part of the ocean throw myself in, handcuff my hands and just figure out a way to swim and I did that the old version of Idris growing up I had so much self-doubt everyone else around me used to always believe in me but I never believed in myself what today, there weren't a single ounce of self-doubt in me this entire run like when I left this morning and I told my mum I said mum I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it and every point of the run like every single point of today I knew I was going to do it I hope this video inspires anyone who watches this let this be a sign for you to no longer be the victim of your thoughts your mind your negativity your self-doubt don't quit whatever the fight it is that you're facing and I'm telling you now guys would normally train six months minimum for a marathon and today i've run basically a double marathon with one month training that's unheard of that is unheard of but we did it man we did it callous your mind and push yourself break yourself and that way you can find who you truly are and what you're made of but if you've watched till this point here alhamdulillah i appreciate your support everyone who's been there with me through this entire eight year journey that i've been on social media sharing my life Today is just another one of those days that I just had to share and I hope it inspires people. I say it, but I'll say it again. When your mind doesn't want to quit, your body will adapt. And on that note, thank you for watching.